I love kids and thinking oh, about the projects and I actually kind okay, of Okay, so I watched this last so night and I was sobbing oh. by the end. Paul wrote such a beautiful script, the writer director. I was surprised to learn that it was written by a man because yeah. it has such a distinct and unique female I voice. I know. I think I think you know he he really understood the character. It's based on his real life best friend, uh, Brittany O'Neill and uh, I think he also shared drafts with her throughout and just made sure it felt very authentic to her own experience. Brittany's a hot mess. She... Brittany's sort of stuck in her life and she <laughs> wants to make changes, so she decides After she to... she has a health scare. Yes, okay. she decides to set a goal to run the New York City Marathon, and that's a pretty big goal. So I did the actual physical journey that she goes through, so I lost 40 pounds. Whoa. Yeah, I, I started off just running by myself because and having my sweet sister tape me because I, I wanted to see what I ran like when I first started running because that was helpful for the movie. And then as it went on, I got a trainer so that I could experience what it's like when you been running for a couple of years. I ran a half marathon, which I which I have not stopped talking about since you I ran it two years ago. You should keep talking about it. It's I, huge. I work it into every conversation. Good. <laughs> We're like, hi, welcome to the show. I ran a half marathon. But, you know, you get very... I don't know, existential, there are metaphorical conversations that you ha tend to have when running is right. always laced in. A lot of times I would actually run the lines for Brittany while I was running because it distracted me. Oh. Um, because if you don't do something like listen to music, you find yourself, I don't know if you felt the same way, you find yourself going, okay, that's enough. Yes. You've gone enough. Yes. And it's like, wait, I went a block. Yes. And they're like, that feels plenty. <laughs>